Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha Studio. This week's Parsha begins with Hashem's instructions to Aaron to light the menorah. And that's why our painting today is going to portray a menorah. Are you ready? Let's get started. Here are the supplies we will need. A canvas, four colors of paint, one main color and three complementing colors. We use purple, gray, brown and yellow. We will also need gold and orange paint, glitter, a medium to large sized paintbrush, a Q-tip, and a small to medium sized paintbrush. So here goes step one. Make sure your canvas is facing you horizontally. Using the larger paintbrush, paint the whole surface in a crisscross pattern. Start with painting your main color on the canvas. In our case, this is purple. As you paint, imagine you are a menorah. Hey, that's silly, but actually I'm not joking, and soon you'll find out why. Add and blend the complementing colors, in our case, gray, brown, and yellow, using the same crisscross technique until the background looks complete to you. All right, question for you. When you walk into a house, what do you see? Probably ceilings, walls, doors, windows, and lots of other stuff. Let's zoom in on the windows. Did you ever notice that windows are built in a way that allows light from the outside to shine inside the house? That is true 99.9% .9 of the time. The exception being the windows in the Beis HaMikdash. They were built oppositely to let light out of the house. Why is that? Let's break this down. Hashem could do anything, so he could make sure the Beis HaMikdash would have light even without a menorah or windows. So what was the purpose of the menorah being lit? The intention was to spread its light, Hashem's light, out to the whole world. And this is why the windows were built in a way that allowed the light of the menorah to shine outward to the world rather than bring the outside light in. As I said, each of us is like a menorah too. We each have a special light within, our neshama. This light is unique and can manifest itself in our talents and strengths. It's our special job to shine our light to everyone around us, just like the menorah. When each one of us does this, the world becomes a brighter place. Dip your finger into the gold paint and make a dot in the middle of the canvas. This is the middle flame of the menorah. Then add six more dots for a total of seven flames. If you want to space them out evenly, add one dot on either side of the middle dot, then do the same twice more until there are seven dots. To add more character to the flames, dip your Q-tip into the orange paint. Paint a small dot on the bottom of each of the flames and flick upwards. You may notice that there are only seven flames here. The reason being that the menorah in the Beis HaMikdash only had seven branches, unlike the Chadaka menorah which has eight. Next, use the smaller paintbrush to paint a gold branch for each of the flames. Paint one stroke of gold from the middle flame downwards. Then paint a shorter diagonal stroke for each of the other flames towards the center, without touching the other branches. Can you think of a way you can spread your light using the talents Hashem gave you? Lastly, sprinkle glitter across the top half of the canvas. Then shake off the excess. We used a mix of a few sizes of gold holographic glitter. The shiny look of glitter will give the impression of light emanating from the flames. Alrighty, we're all done. Let it dry and then find a good spot to hang your beautiful painting. We can't wait to see you next week at our Parsha studio.